This is Mario with MIA Microfly once again and in this video I'm going to be talking about wheels and tires for this one-tenth scale go-kart that I designed about uh, a month and a half ago and I've been making uh, all kinds of wheels and tires and all kinds of materials just to get the best wheel that I can obtain that will give me the best performance for these uh, unique uh, ready control go-karts that you see here. Now I have three here that I did. That, that's my original one right there. And this one is, uh, this was a second iteration. This is the final and third iteration. Normally it takes me three times or three tries before I end up with an end product that I can kit and sell it. So let's get back on uh, the wheels here. What I wanted to uh, do here is I wanted to give a um, an indication of the types of uh, tires and uh, mainly the, the the tire materials that can be used for wheels. So you can see here these yellow ones are all 3D printed TPU material, which is kind of rubbery, um, and these uh, are TPU uh, sleeves that are fitted right over these uh, 3D printed uh, PLA. Uh, hubs or full wheels. These are the full wheels and uh, are integral with the uh, hubs as one uh, piece design. And so the uh, TPU material is just this leaf here which fits right over that. So that's uh, one uh, one experiment that I did. I did full uh, wheels uh, integral with the hub as well in TPU material. This gets really hard here at the center so they, they work quite well as a, as a complete wheel and entire uh, unit. But the only thing is that TPU tends to skid in uh, hard surfaces like uh, concrete. So not so good of a material. I mean, the, the idea is there. It's kind of rubbery, but it still skids, you know, when you want to race these things. And I designed these for racing. I mean, they're designed for, uh, you know, indoor um, inside your house, but they really perform better in an outdoor area, such as a backyard, if you have a cemented or anything that's a hard ground, not dirt. You don't want to run these things in hard, uh, dirt, dirt because it's going to pick up a lot of dirt and it's going to ruin the uh, components, especially the uh, all the uh, pivoting uh, uh, joints. You don't want to get sand. You don't want to get dirt there. Eventually, th these will get a little dusty, and that's fine. But what you, what you don't want to do, these are not dirt cars that you can run them under dirt. you got to run this on a hard surface. On a carpeting, wow, any of these wheels will work. Uh, just as well, but my goal is to uh, sell these kits with the uh, wheel that uh, can handle all surfaces. So TPU wheels, you can see the TPU. Here's a uh, mold that I did uh, also 3D print. This was to uh, get an idea of the cavity that I would need in an aluminum version so that I can uh, press my own uh, foam wheels. In this row here, you can see some other TPU sleeves. These are just sleeves that fit right over the 3D printed hubs. Uh, some foam, this, this is a matte material. These are uh, playground mats. And this is um, expanded foam. It's a little more rigid than your typical foam that you buy for craft projects. Uh, same thing here, this is all CNC cut. Um, and over here we have some uh, vinyl caps these are caps for tubes that you can buy them in industrial places and you can simply cut the uh, rim and uh, you can use the uh, the outer se section as the sleeves and these are what I have right here as you can see them here right over these types of wheels which are 3D printed so this is just a sleeve in this um, vinyl uh, material uh, right here we have a couple uh, sections of uh, inner tube this is a bicycle inner tube which is rubber this works extremely well the only thing is that this wears out after a while so I had these on one of these carts uh, before actually I had it on this one with with these types of wheels uh, these are stretched over the the hub wheel setup and so it provides a really good grip for um, concrete or any any surface in this row right here we have uh, as I mentioned the uh, fully integrated with the hub and the the, the tire which is not rubbery, this is just PLA, and this was to be used with uh, some rubbery sleeves over that. 
these are actual hubs for um, um, a, a racing uh, wheel. These are taller because they take a, a fatter wheel at the rear, and these are for the fronts, similar here in different color. These are a little bit uh, different. You can see these have a slight cone to them, or hourglass, and these are straight. And that is to provide different types of grip on the um, on the tire, and also to to use uh, to be used with different types of uh, tire materials. Um, these are just the end caps that need to be screwed from both sides. They clamp onto um, a, um, a tire such as this one. So you would put this right over that. You, know, you fit that over that, and then the other have on the other side, and you have a pretty de decent looking wheel that way. Um, the other half fits uh, on the other side. The only thing is that you have to screw these uh, because otherwise the two halves tend to uh, pivot. So once that's done, you know you have uh, another type of wheel that can be used for these uh, uh, go karts. Uh, similar with these, in different colors. These are one solid piece uh, uh, wheels. Again, very similar to the um, to these guys here, which are one piece. As you can see here, these have a flat here, so they're easier to um, mold or, or print. And this wheel right here, with the foam wheel, looks like that. Very, uh, very nice wheel for, especially for airplanes, for radio control airplanes. I, I did these for my radio control airplanes. Um, in this uh, section here, we have the best wheels right here, which are basically the same thing I have here, two rubber here. They're a little bit heavier because this is a full rubber tire over a hub, which is very similar to these hubs right here that you see here. Um, and so it looks the part and it has a lot of grip. In fact, it has an enormous amount of grip on concrete because this is too rubber and it's uh, the durometer is not too soft and it's not too hard, so it's got just the right grip to it. Um, and so with these type, types of wheels, I had to redesign my front end here to uh, um, uh, to have a little more um, more grip and stability because these were overpowering the, the front end and this was kind of uh, it, it was it was kind of slipping, uh, even though these are also rubber. So if you don't have the right angles here, you know you can also uh, have little issues there, but I fixed that with uh, a different type of steering here for these wheels, and so these will be part of that kit. So that's fixed, but I just wanted to point out that these wheels have extreme grip to them. These are very similar to these. These are basically the same uh, hub and tire in, in PLA, which is a hard wheel, just uh, to keep it nice and simple, and it's got a rubber, much thicker rubber um, sleeve than the tire inner tube sleeve that I was using before. These and these types of sleeves, because they are rubber, they have to be cut from um, from a from a long tube, and so it's it's a little tricky cutting that. But if you have the proper jigs and the proper tools, you you can achieve that. That's uh, the cutting, the manufacturing of those particular sleeves is is set for another video. I will discuss how I do that in a, another video. This is just about the wheels and the tires in, in a general form. Uh, here's another wheel, very similar to the uh, to these wheels right here. But as you can see, it's got the it's got the screws, and the screws are attached to the hub. Uh, that also uh, doubles up as the pulley, and so this has a, a grip on the um, on the on the uh, on the wheel itself via the pulley hub. These are another set of wheels. These were basically um, very similar to these, except that these wheels right here are the same size as those right there. In fact, it's the same wheel with the same rubber material which is this right here that has been slipped over that and it, it, it took a little effort there to slip it over the the wheel and so I redesigned it, those wheels and I made them a little bit smaller and I made them a, a little bit different so that it, it would be easier to slip the the rubber and you can see how this lost a little bit of the height and in the thickness of the, the rubber because the rubber is actually sitting inside this track of this uh, uh, wheel bobbin, if you if you will, it looks like a bobbin. So it's very similar to these right here. They have a lip on the edge, and they have and they're countersunk, 
on the inner section so that the rubber sits and grips nice and tight. So these are for also for racing. These are also great wheels because they have the rubber grip, very uh, much thicker than the um, inner tube uh, rubber uh, sleeves. And here is the, the rubber material already pre-cut and shaped into the tire. It's very, very tough and durable stuff, uh, very grippy that uh, slips over these uh, hops here. And I left these two undone so that I can show the tires separate than the uh, wheel hubs. Uh, here's another set of wheels. These are more for airplane, uh, radio control airplane, very much in, in line with those wheels right there. And, um, and and these also have to be attached with screws because they are done in two parts. There are two halves. If I can focus in on my video here. So there are two halves here that need to be done uh, uh, with, with the screws. And they very much uh, same uh, concept as these wheels here except that uh, I started with these wheels here and what I did is I cut the pattern right about at about a quarter inch from the bottom here it's got the same bottom design and because they're two halves they're both symmetrical on each side they also can work for the go-karts here but they're a little bit skinny for my my taste and for aesthetical purposes it works better as a radio control or airplane um, uh, wheel in this row right here we have uh, the foam the foamy section these are all foam wheels foam tires I, I should say the house once again they're 3d printed they're my, my everything here that you see here is all, all my design here including the, the carts uh, it's, it's something that I've been doing for many years and uh, and this is not the only set of wheels that I've done. This is just to so that I can uh, um, locate the best wheel uh, or come up with the best wheel for these particular products that you see here. And so I had to do all these things here and more. And I'm not showing uh, some other ones, which are less than perfect, but these are you know the all the all the types that I've done in, in various materials: rubber, foam, like I said, uh, uh, vinyl, uh, inner tube, uh, real rubber material. I've also done things with O-rings because you can use O-rings as, as a tire uh, form, but O-rings don't work in, in these types types of uh, cars because it's not a bicycle. Uh, once again, this is uh, the uh, playground mat material. This is the, the real thick stuff. It's a little tricky to cut this, and you have to cut this with a... You can, you can laser cut this. Uh, I don't have a laser cutter. I, do, I have a CNC machine, but I do have the proper bits to cut the foam so that they come out perfect. Uh, same thing here. This is the inverse of that, so you don't see this pattern here. Um, and you can do, I mean, you can do much more the, uh, to, to foam. I mean, you can really put a pattern there with, uh, with heat, and, and you can even carve the, the, the tire uh, tracks on, the, on some of these wheels if you want it for a wheel for, for a truck, for, for example. You can, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with foam and heat, uh, and it just jigs, and, you know, um, some... Uh, homemade uh, tools again once again uh, the uh, foam wheels here are some basic hubs this is another hub that i did very s simple i don't like this hub because it's it's too plain it's too simple for my taste i really like these they have a little more design uh, pizzazz to them and you can see it looks like a real hub i mean look at that hub right there with the tire it looks the part and it looks very very in line with the aesthetics of the model and keeps it very unique one of the things that i try to do with my products is every product that i design has to be unique and has to be in the style of MIA Microflight. If you look at my website, all the products that I've been doing since, uh, I don't know, more than 20 years uh, so far, uh, they all have a particular style. And this pilot itself, it was uh, it's a derivative of the MIA robotic pilot that I use in the RC Microlights. They control the Microlight via the, the arms. So it's uh, you know so the arms and the legs move in these in, the, in these particular uh, pilots uh, that are running these little go karts. They're they're actually not little. They're one tenth scale. I did mention in some earlier videos that these were one twelfth, but they're actually one tenth scale. Uh, again, some of the foam wheels. I did this for a uh, radio control market light, a much bigger one. As you can see here, the the, the the hub is is much longer, and that was just to establish a clearance from the fork. These these go on a fork. Uh, they also could be used for for this product, but you know, it's a slightly different uh, design approach. Again, these I did for uh, because 
I was in need of uh, wheels. I, I wanted to make my own wheels. These you can buy. These these are your typical hobby wheels. They have an ABS uh, injection molded uh, hub with a hard foam uh, tire. They're not too expensive, but sometimes they're, they're a little bit uh, hard to get in, in quantities. And so I wanted to have control of my own wheels and my own style and just my own ways of uh, doing things. So I designed this one, which is kind of similar to that. It's got the, 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 um, the star um, shape hub. It's a solid hub and then the wheel fits right over that. It's a little bit hard to uh, put the uh, tire, this, the foam tire, because you do have to stretch it without breaking the, the foam over the wheel. So I had to develop a little tool to do that. Very similar to the way they install tires on, on cars. It's a similar process, you know, where they kind of a dial and you have to stretch it a little bit precisely over the hub. So that's how I did these wheels and they look very, very nice and clean. So that's my airplane wheel, but these other ones are strictly for my racing go-karts that you see here. So I wanted to cover this. Uh, it's kind of hard to do this in a short video because the, 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 you know I have to explain all these things and, I, and the way I like talking and explaining, I, um, I like to explain all these things in a, in a little more detail than what you would find in other videos. Do it yourself on wheels. They give you bits and pieces but it's not a precise uh, approach uh, being a manufacturer that I have to manufacture products that I sell, you know, in kit form, they have to be good and they have to be uh, clean, uh, precise and, and performing and, and with good uh, aesthetics, you know, I have to invest a little more time than, than your typical do-it-yourselfer does. And so because these things have to be done uh, consistently and the, the manufacturing approach has to be done, uh, you, you know, I have to lock on, on, on a certain way to do that so that everything comes consistent and it looks professional. As you can see here, some of these wheels look very, very nice. You're not going to find this type of wheels anywhere else. Now that I've shown, you know, how I do these wheels, you know, the, uh, some people with 3D printers can probably duplicate some of these things. And I've explained already the types of materials that I'm using for rubber. And you can also duplicate that if you're making your own wheels. Um, the, the cutting of the, the foam, if you don't have the right tools, is a little bit tricky. This is real easy to cut because you can cut this with a knife and a ruler and fairly get a, a nice straight cut on the uh, inner tube. But when you start talking about, you know, rubber tubing that's long, that comes in, in long sections, and you have to slice that um, precisely so that you have a, a consistent parallel width on, on the tire, and the tire looks clean, like you see it here, you know, that takes a, a little more specialized tooling, and, and so that takes a little more, more effort. Once again, this is Mario with MI Microflight, and this is the video on wheels, tires for radio control, one-tenth scale go-karts or radio control cars, and even RC airplanes.